Hey everyone, welcome to the channel. This is video number two for our Astral General Gallimancy. <laughs> it's like mix it all up. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and roll the zodiac dice and see who this will be for. This will be for your sun, your moon, your rising, your Saturn, and your Mercury placements, okay? So we're gonna aim to cover as many as we can, uh, sign-wise and placement-wise, that Spirit wants for these generals for uh, the next few days. I'd say the end of the week until the end of the week right um so if you don't have your sign or placement pop up don't worry uh, the energy just may not be here for you right this very minute <laughs> for the rest of the week but there may be something from i think it was posted monday for you for the beginning of the week or it may come up next week beginning of the week for you i do these twice a week so um check back then as well but this is for sun moon rising Saturn and Mercury placements, okay? All right, let's roll the dice. Spirit, what guidance do you have for whom? For the collective at this time, for whom it will resonate for whenever the time is divine, please and thank you. All right, we have Gemini. And I'm not doing any high aspects, so if we see another of the same, already done, I'll roll again. Aquarius. And we have Oh, we have Scorpio. We do have one. I'm going to re-roll. Spirit. Okay. We have Taurus. Okay. All right. So you could be Gemini, Aquarius, Scorpio, Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, Saturn, Mercury placement. All right. Let me write that down in case we might need the dice later. Okay, let's get six alphabet tiles for words, names, uh, cities, locations, um, abbreviations, acronyms, <laughs> initials. All right. Thank you, Spirit. All right. If you see any down below that I haven't mentioned, by all means, comment and help others. All right. Here we go. First letter out is T, G, O, got, or tog, T again, so you might have double consonants somewhere, taught, as in child, perhaps, C, cot, cog, and R. All right. I think the word torque is there, is there? Hmm. All right, let's get to a couple from our tea leaf here. Spirit, please and thank you. What is going on for Gemini, Aquarius, Scorpio, Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, Saturn, and Mercury placements? Please and thank you. All right. Second half deck. I'll also go ahead and just pull our past life. Uh, location identifier like with this oracle, the sailor jury identifier that I made, moonology as well. All right. All right. Please and thank you, Spirit. Passive, what's going on? Who, what? Identify, please. Thank you. And location identifier. I'm also going to use the minor counter from the playing cards as well. This is just a regular playing card deck. Thank you. As an identifier. And like purpose oracle, please. Identifier. Perhaps guidance if needed. Okay. There we go. And Sailor Jerry. This has just got all the stickers on it for Tiny Zodiac. Um, Western Zodiac, as well as letters, additional letters as well. And if one of the court cards comes up, I'll also identify the cards. Or the aces. Okay. One, please.
Thank you. All right, and Moonology. Let's get one, please. Moonology is used as a timing as well as overall energy or advice. I'll give you a clue. Give us a clue as to what's happening. It's going down. All right, from the tea leaf we have rainbow. The most difficult part of a situation is over. Rainbows could be significant to you at this time as well. We have cat, a two-faced friend. So perhaps whatever you were dealing with with a two-faced friend, that situation is over. You have angel, spiritual guidance, protection from harm. And perhaps it's over because your spirit team was on it. Something about the month of December. So you could be dealing as a timing as well. I love the way this December card always looks. It's so pretty. Lots of purples and indigos here. So you do have crown chakra and third eye. Okay. So you're definitely spiritually protected as well. Okay. December is also <laughs> Capricorn Sagittarius energy or Ophicus. That's right. Ophicus is in December too. So you could be dealing with somebody that has those as well. Heavy in their chart. Um, could just be a timing, maybe a upcoming December, something's going to be ending. Could also relate to whatever happened last December as well. Okay. Your past life card is imprisonment or slavery. Okay. I'm going to put that over here because we are going to clarify that a bit. That could be mental imprisonment. Perhaps this two-faced friend was all up in their head. It's possible. This could be literal jail. Okay. <laughs> Whatever this situation, it either felt or actually was incarcerating of sorts, okay? You also have something having to do with Europe. So maybe that could be an identifier. Maybe they like to travel in Europe or they're of European descent or something along those lines. You also have a King of Wands energy here. That's Aries, Leo, Sag, masculine, mature energy. Yeah, or so Jerry, Jerry as well. We have the Queen of Swords with this one. So Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, feminine, mature energy. You also have air. That is also, I forgot, I put the elements on here as well. So air sign for sure, for sure. Letter T might be significant. Okay. You also have speaker. Air signs are definitely speakers, right? So you could be definitely dealing with somebody that spoke quite a bit. Either this two-faced friend, and perhaps they um, gossiped and spread rumors and whatnot. Your life purpose involves your skills of oration. So this may be a situation you still might have to speak up in, or somebody might be speaking up on your behalf. You have a new moon in Libra. So this could involve a moon Libra or just a Libra in general as well. This could also point to the last new moon in Libra or the next one coming up as well, timing wise. You want to look that up if this resonates. A new romantic cycle begins. So we'll definitely clarify that as well. I see that more as just new partnerships coming in or um, a renewed partnership, right? Of some sort. Doesn't necessarily have to be romantic, but it's definitely of a heart space, right? Like love. Right. And you can have that deep devotion, that deep love, even with a best friend, you know, and maybe that's it could be both. Right. You know, this could be a circumstance where this two faced friend was also a lover at one point. OK, someone that had been dated or um, gone out with, right, had a relationship with. All right. So spirit, let's get the kipper. I did swap out my thin to sick wig because it was just too hard to use. So well worn. And I swapped out the kitty tarot as well for the rough and roll tarot. Just to make it easier. I need to replace both those decks because they are so well worn. Okay. All right, Spirit. Let's get four cards on this. Please tell us more about this situation before we clarify further. please <laughs> it is mental imprisonment guys <laughs> confirmed okay hold on one more 
I see, I see murky thoughts. And I'm like, see, I had a feeling. Someone was up in their head. <laughs> ah, one more, please. Thank you, spirit. This one's taking a bit, this last card, to come on out. That just tells me the situation ain't over yet. It might be a little bit. Might be something you have to put on the back burner. One more, please. Thank you. Oh, and I see why. I see why. All right. So your first card out is lot of money, number 11. That's a manifestation number. So it could just be something that needs to be manifested in the tangible. That's probably what it was about. Um, probably something over something tangible, right? Doesn't necessarily actually have to be money, but it could be things. It could be stuff, experiences, situations, that sort of thing. Something that's tangible, right? I also see this as an abundance card as well. An abundance could also be maybe something that had been joyous that's not anymore, right? Um, or needs to be more joyous. And maybe there will be some joy coming in, right? So you do have murky thoughts, and that's why I say that. <laughs> because there always was this sort of scarcity mindset a little bit when you see these two together, right? Um, the murky thoughts, you know, definitely indicates that somebody was all up in their head. Um, perhaps misspoke. It's a possibility as well, but that difficult part of that situation is over. Next card up, you have 29, the prison. 29 is also an 11, and 33 for the murky thoughts there, so those numbers may be significant to you. These two together, mental prison. <laughs> so I'm definitely sensing that that's what that is. Whatever the situation is that was creating a lack of joy, a scarcity mindset, it's because somebody was all up in their head about the situation. And what took a long time to come out was number seven, a pleasant letter. So there may be some good news coming down, but you're going to have to wait a bit, right? You're going to have to just kind of let this situation stew over, rest from it, and relax from it, okay? Um, maybe there's some... And that could be this uh, new romantic cycle beginning as well with this pleasant letter, but I'm getting the vibe you might need to have to just have a cool down period from this situation. So let's go ahead and clarify. Pleasant letter, please, Spirit. Let's identify what that is. What is pleasant letter? New romantic cycle, pleasant letter. Please and thank you. Let's get three. What is this pleasant letter? All right, first card out, mm. we have death, and I'm seeing a whole lot of major arcana here. So this is divinely guided, that's why you're going to have to wait a bit, okay? There's probably a whole lot of inner workings around the background, um, a lot of energies to kind of situate, right? There's some transformation here, that's the word that is popping out on this card for me, okay? And perhaps it's an end of cycle thing as well. Next up, you have chariot. Okay, so there's definitely some achievement through this transformation, okay? That is also Scorpio and Cancerian energy as well. And then you have Queen of Wands. The word popping out for me is vivacious. <laughs> yes, it was a toss-up between vivacious and fiery and extrovert. Okay, so it's just very excited energy, okay? Um, this would be an Aries Leo Sag, feminine, mature energy. Um, so whatever this is coming in is going to be exciting. It could be a person coming in and with a new romantic cycle, that could be it. It could just be a new best friend. And it sounds like it's going to be someone that's going to lift your spirits. Someone that's going to replace some nasty energy that, you know, is very much well needed at this time. Perhaps it's something you'll get a hint of in December. Tell us about December, Spirit. First card out, we have Six of Pentacles, so there's some giving energy here. All right. King of Wands. Now we have the Masculine. We definitely have a pairing. Aries Leo Sag, mature masculine energy. All right. And Four of Wands, celebrations, harmony, happiness. 
coming together could very well be romantic, but it also is very much just, here we go, let me show you each one. I love these cards <laughs> with all the bubbly letters. All right. A pairing is going to happen. This could be romantic. This is also a card of, you know, marriage and home, but it's, you know, it's overall just enjoyment of situation as well, but it's definitely... Yeah, it does feel very soulmate-y. That's what I was kind of like, is it? Is it? Is it? Yeah, it is. It is. It could very well be like low-level soulmate-y. Okay? Let's see, anything else? Spirit. Is there anything regarding this speaker card that the collective needs to know at this time that they might need to be doing? We'll get one on that. Oh, already. Nice. Um, eight of wands so you be quick with your communication okay if you need to speak speak all right let's get one from the chakra reading cards for whatever healing might need to be done at this time while the collective waits for this pleasant letter please be thank you spirit this pleasant communication all right love it you have self-mastery, number 15, breaks down to a six. All right, and I'm going to go ahead and read you the affirmation as well. Get to that page. Solar plexus. So whatever solar plexus stuff you need to do. You have pulled this card today to let you know this is a powerful time to manifest self-mastery. And we're still in that 1111 portal energy as well for another couple of days, okay? So take advantage. Life is constantly offering us lessons which give us the opportunity to grow and expand our soul. You're being called at this time to master your gifts. The key is to focus your energy on what you would like to master and don't give up until you have embodied it fully. It takes commitment and motivation to create self-mastery. However, with consistency and time, it will come to fruition. Being blessed with this card today indicates that you're already on your way to mastering your gifts. Have you doubted yourself lately in a particular aspect of your life, resulting in frustration? Know that the current challenges you are undergoing are doorways to self-mastery. Make sure not to lose focus or give up hope as mastery is inevitable. To master something requires courage and love, and now is the time to give your full attention and presence to your gifts. You're being encouraged to look at your life's mission, plant the seeds required to bring you closer to your soul's path, Stay motivated and dance in the mastery of yourself. The affirmation on this card, I am the master of my destiny. Love it. All right. Now I just thought of the title. So hold on a sec, guys. <laughs> All right. When I think of the title, I got to write it down. <laughs> I'm going to forget. <laughs> it just popped. It was great. All right. Hope it's not too long. I don't have to put it so right now I'm going to get you a final... Guidance card from the Fox Five of the Kitsune Oracle by Lucy Cavendish. My spirit, any final guidance, advice for the collective at this time? While they do this self-mastery, while they wait for this good news, this new cycle coming in. Thank you. Thank you. All right, here's a good hint. All right. You have card number 42, Shadow Dancer. 42 also breaks down to a six and sixes are all about returning to purpose um, of love and to refocus. Okay. All right. Shadow dancer. The shadow dancer moves through the forest, finding those who have a strong belief in who they are, how they can change and who they can become revealing to them the hidden self they have shunned and avoided. When the shadow dancer comes, you will slowly come to illuminate the unknown within. And in this way, the lost and unloved parts of yourself will be able to come home to you. And in time, become a part of you that will offer you so much richness and creativity. This mysterious being brings to you the blessing that so many of us refuse in this lifetime, the opportunity to work with their shadow. This may be a time that's how your self-mastery is going to come through is shadow work as well. 
or in addition to, right? So many flee from her wisdom, but those who stay find many blessings, more than if they had practiced avoidance. To dance with the shadow, to know the shadow, is a great challenge. It is not as simple as acknowledging our less than pleasant qualities. It is to acknowledge that within us there is much that we're unaware of, and that in order to come to know the shadow self, we must become humble and feel our way into our own super self. In this way, our own tendencies become illuminated over time and with patient, steady work. This work takes deep self-love, compassion, and often self-care. It can be troubling and can raise shame, guilt, and fear as we begin to know what we have previously been unable to see. This is a process of seeing the unknown that lies within our own souls. This is not a process of self-condemnation, but one of self-discovery and deep self-love. When this card comes to you, prepare to dance with the shadow, to discover the hidden self within, who is so very different from the self you have created over time. This shadow self will be a great teacher and will come to you in moments that can shake our foundations. But when we dance with the shadow, we can become closer to the whole than we once were. But in order to do so, we must be prepared to explore the strangest, wildest, most avoided aspects of ourselves. And that would be confirmation for my notifications. <laughs> hint, hint. In this way, though, we become travelers of the soul, stronger, authentic, with a wisdom that is born of knowing thyself. When, your work, when you work with the shadow dancers undertaken, for it's never truly finished, you will be more whole with a truer sense of who you are here to be again with the sixes right return to purpose all right guys hopefully that helps have a good one bye